Let's discuss some of the definitions of language. The very first definition is taken from Webster's Dictionary. It says, language is a systematic means of communicating ideas or feelings by the use of conventionalized signs, sounds, gestures, or marks having understood meaning. Language is a systematic means of communicating idea, which means it follows a set pattern. It is not random. It is based on a specific system. And that system consists of conventionalized signs, sounds, gestures, or marks. All these are conventional in their meaning, which means that they have general acceptability and they are well understood. <coughs> Language is a multiple, complex, and kaleidoscopic phenomena. This is another definition given by Scholon. It is multiple that it functions on different levels. Language has creativity, it has productivity, and it is complex because of its structural elements. And it is kaleidoscopic, which means it is dynamic and has ability to change from situation to situation. Another definition which is comprehensive, simple but comprehensive, given by Pinker is, language is a complex specialized skill which develops in the child spontaneously without conscious efforts or formal instruction, is deployed without awareness of its underlying logic, is qualitatively the same in every individual and is distinct from more general abilities to process information or behave intelligently. It's complex because of its structure and structural elements. Therefore, it is specialized and it develops in a child without any explicit instruction or knowledge and without the awareness of its logical reasoning. Qualitatively, with regard to content and data, is the same in every individual, but distinct from more general abilities to process in terms of behavior or how it is used intelligently. A consolidation of a number of possible definitions of language yields the following composite definitions, and let's discuss all these definitions. First, language is systematic. All languages have their systems of arrangements. It has finite symbols, which can be infinitely arranged. Infinite sentences with finite symbols. Language has system, and within it, subsystems also. For example, the grammatical system of language has within it morphological and syntactic system as well. Second, language is a set of arbitrary symbols. Arbitrariness in linguistics is the absence of any natural connection between a word's meaning and its sounds or form. It's the combination of linguistic units. That's the concepts, ideas, objects are expressed. Number three, those symbols are primarily vocal, but may also be visual, which means they are primarily vocal, refers to sounds and speech, and visual refers to words or written text. The symbols have conventionalized meanings to which they refer. Languages are outcome of evolution and conventions. Conventions are transmitted from generation to generation. Every language is a convention in a community, and therefore it is not hereditary, but acquired. Another definition says that language is used for communication. It is used for exchange and sharing of ideas, and it requires sender and a receiver who use a language as a medium of communication. Another example of definition is that language operates in a speech community or culture. Language exists in a society. It's a mean of nourishing and developing culture and establishing human relation. Therefore, it is considered as a social institution. Language is essentially human, although possibly not limited to humans. 
Human language has an acquisition process which makes it distinctive from animal language. Animal language is devoid of complexity, creativity and novelty. Animal language is unextendable and unmodifiable whereas human language follows a systematic process of communication. Language is acquired by all in much the same way. Language and language learning both have universal characteristics. It means language features are similar in all languages and the process of acquisition is also common as it involves cognition and behavior. So, to sum up, language is systematic, multiple and complex phenomena.